so hello everyone welcome to yerpedia education so today in this video we are going to interact with you know one very handsome and uh, you know uh, lucky and uh, you know the person who is finally selected in bark delhi krishna right yes, so sir. delhi krishna first of all tell me how's feeling now after finally you being selected in bark as a scientist officer sir i am feeling very very happy sir i cannot uh, express my words the day i saw the let me name the selection it was the happiest day happiest moment actually Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. This is all because of the you know effort and hard work which you put for the you know last years. You know what was your previous journey where you are preparing for this all, and this was one of your aspiring or aspiration, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So first of all, congratulations from your PD education, right? Thank you, sir. So before we start the discussion, could you please start introducing yourself so that audience can relate with you? What was your academic background and all, please? Okay, sir. Sir, uh, my name is Dilip Krishna. I have like I am from Chittur, Andhra Pradesh, sir. So my I did my schooling in my uh, hometown itself. Then I joined uh, Narayana Junior College for my eleventh and twelfth. Okay. Then through VIT exam, I entered into VIT. Great. And I pursued my electrical and electronics engineer okay. engineering degree from VIT VIT only. Okay. Sir, so after that, uh, during the like when I was in fourth year, uh, through campus placement, I was selected uh, as graduate engineer trainee by. When Renaissance. did you completed your education? Uh, when did you completed your bachelor? Two thousand nineteen, sir. Okay, nineteen. So since then, you were working till now, right? Yes, sir. I was working. Okay, so with which organization you were working and where you were placed from the campus? Sir, uh, I got selected for uh, maintenance at uh, the Hage Manufacturing Division, sir. Okay. Like in thermal power plant. Okay. But uh, after my training, I was I was posted at uh, petroleum depot, sir. Like okay. because of the COVID situation, like in March 2020, so there were little reshuffling in inside the uh, company. So I was posted at a different location. Right. Sir. So I was in actual like maintenance profile. Okay. So I was looking after uh, petroleum operations, like okay. the. Like we'll be getting diesel and petrol. We'll be distributing it around uh, like in Tamil Nadu. I was in near. I was working at Polachi near Coimbatore. Right, right, right. So along with my uh, this thing, I was like I was always. Uh, I wanted to pursue in research domain, sir. Like okay. through, I wanted to go into PSU or like uh, bar or isro sort of jobs. So I was along with my job. I was preparing for last two or last two and a half years. I was preparing okay. along with my job. Right, right, right. So last year also I gave gate, but I didn't get any good rank. So okay. I got like three thousand something last time. I don't remember exactly. Okay. So this year uh, through gate I got four four hundred twenty nine rank. Great, great, great. So then uh, after I gave bar exam separately. Okay. So through bar exam I got selected for interview. Okay. So you mean to say this interview call you got from the bar that was through their own written exam, right? Yes, sir. Own written exam, sir. Okay. So Delhi, I want to stop you here. Okay, many students who are working also in corporate world, right? But they yes, somewhere sir. you know are stuck in you know workplace only. They are not getting time or enough time to prepare. They all have the aspirations. They also want to become the part of which row bar DRD and NPC. Scale and I see and any kind of the pretty prestigious PSC, right? Yes, sir. But sometimes they are not anyhow able to manage that uh, you know work balance so that they can yes, take out the time to prepare effectively and you know achieve what else they are aspiring. So, what is your suggestion on this? Also, it took two and two and uh, two years and two point five years for you two yes, also. What yes, what was your mantra? How you used to manage this all stuff? Sir, uh, I used to plan like uh, I used to study like I used to wake up at five in the morning, sir, and oh. my office starts at nine. so okay. i used to stay near to the office location so my commutation like the time in commutation is very less okay. so i would i was able to reach by walk in 5 minutes to the okay. office Fine. so i used to i wake up at 5 by 5:30 to 7:30 or 8 i will try to study the so 2 and 2 okay. hours or 2 and 1/2 hour right then i used to get ready uh, like i was staying alone in the room sir so i used to get ready and right. i used to right. go to uh, office at, like by 8:55 or 9 okay Then at, in the, during the officer, uh, I would say like my manager was little uh, what to say cooperative or like friendly. He was uh, understanding me that I wanted to pursue more. So whenever there was some little time, he allowed me to like prepare. Like he has to do whatever. Means that there are so many people. 
contributing to your success right he is also uh, yes, the part definitely, of that sir. it's right. not like uh, yes sir def- there are so many people so many factors which are like positively supported me to achieve whatever right, i did right 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 Yes, sir. So I used to like. If there is a time, I used to prepare. Then after six o'clock, I used to go home. Like after having dinner at eight or like at eight, I used to start. At eight to ten, I used to study. So okay. this is how I was able to manage. <laughs> okay. So finally, can you tell us in more detail about interview? Where it was held and how many people were there in the panel? And as you come from the electrical electronics background, and I- along with the work experience what was their focus their focus were more on more on your academic subjects or they were more focusing on your work experience or what kind of question they asked yes sir sir my bar interview happened on june 14 sir okay in bombay okay so actually they asked us to select the slots on which date we need to like we are uh, okay available to give the interview actually they gave like right, right, right. i think there are 8 or 10 slots available right 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 so i got it, i selected it on 14th so i went to bombay on 13th night 13th evening so 14th i was ready for the interview first we had document verification so on that day in electrical 28 people were supposed to uh, go through interview sir okay on 14th june okay so there were three panels right so uh, uh, i was the first to go for document verification Okay. Then after the document verification, we I went uh, like we went to uh, they were given a slip. Uh, like we have like document verification, so they have given us interview slip. So with that, we went to the waiting hall where right. uh, they took biometric verification and all. Right. Then uh, I went to like I went, I was sitting outside the interview hall. Sir. So wow. by this like eight thirty, I reported for document verification. By the time I entered the uh, interview hall, it was around like ten thirty. Right. So ten thirty, I was called in. So as uh, I went, uh, there were eight, pe- seven people uh, sitting like in semicircle. And as soon as I went, they asked me to sit. And then they just asked. It was not there was no HR at all. So they just asked for my name, and okay. uh, they were looking at uh, already. They had my documents. Uh, right, copies. right, right. So they were looking right. at it, and that's like what I was doing for last four years. So I said I was working. Uh, then they said, "Okay." Uh, they asked me favorite subjects, sir. Okay. I said uh, machines, power system, network, and power electronics. Okay. So then uh, uh, you the, mentioned four subjects, right? Yes, sir. I mentioned four subjects, sir. Okay. So then the chairman uh, started it. Started the uh, said uh, he like he pointed at one one of the officers is sitting there and he said, "Okay, you, you can start with machines." Okay. So it started like uh, they asked, "What is your favorite topic in machines?" Okay. i said sir transformers and then uh, he asked me to go take the chalk piece and go on to the board and he asked okay. me to explain like uh, what is the basic uh, working principle of transformer draw the diagram show how the like when voltage is given to the primary what happens in the how the uh, magnetizing current flows how is the current flowing out of the flux direction current right, direction right, right. secondary what right. if it is open uh, like the what will be the reverse flux and all then he asked me to add the load then he uh, like he changed the question like he was i they started asking when i when we connected the load i said uh, there will be reverse flux which would be opposing the main flux then there was one uh, another member a uh, female member she started okay. asking why it is opposing why it is not supporting okay you mean to say one panel was asking one person from the panel was asking the question and you know cross question was being done by the other person in the panel yes, right sir, other uh, yes sir okay okay so they started asking like why it is i know opposite and all then i started explaining uh, as per lenz law and these things and all yeah. then they asked what is lenz law then uh, what are the effects well uh, what are the losses in the transformer like uh, eddy current losses hysteresis losses eddy current losses they went into like very uh, like depth in the sense they asked yeah, the actually you you decided to choose a topic which is itself a subject right transformer yes. itself is a subject right yes, it's not sir, a topic sir. Yes, sir. Because I was, I like, I thought I was uh, pretty comfortable with transformers, so I okay. said uh, I wanted to go through go with transformers. Like I was given a choice there. Okay. So okay. Then so, were, yes, sir. So, were they satisfied with your answer? Whatever answer you were giving, were they satisfied? Yes, sir. Like, uh, they were satisfied to some part, and there were few questions which I could not uh, convince them. so i said okay. uh, sir as far as i remember uh, this is how things are but 
I was not able to reach. Okay, so point. they started with the transformer. What are the other subjects? Then how they shift to the other subject? Tell me the you know bit detail about this. Sir, uh, like once the transformer things were going on, like it went for very long time. The transformer was the was taken more time for me. Okay. I think around like uh, half an hour, forty minutes went for transformer. System. I can conclude that uh, you know the major section of your entire interview was on the transformer. Yes, right? sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Fine. So once I uh, said uh, like I'm oh, like uh, I could not convince them with this uh, uh, history is lost. They asked me to draw the history curve of copper, uh, which right. I I was not aware like how what is the permittivity of the copper whether it is more than uh, CrGO or more than air or less than air. Right, right. So right. I was not able to convince them. Then they said okay we'll stop transformers here. They asked for okay. next subject. I said power systems. So okay. they started uh, like the one more another uh, uh, officer has started asking about transformer protection. All right. Like he said, you have started transformer, so we'll go through go with transformer protection. Okay. So then they started asking me about my job experience. They linked my job experience there. Okay. Because I said I worked in uh, for one year. I worked in uh, thermal power plant. Right, he right, said, right. Then you should be aware of. You should have physically seen the system protection there, like in transformer. What are the protections are there? How they work? How they operate? So then he asked me to list down what are all the protections are there. So okay. I wrote on so the this board. This entire discussion was going. You were standing on the whiteboard or you were sitting yes, there? Yes, sir. I was standing. I, like I didn't sit at all, sir. And initially, oh. when I stood up from the chair, like for hour and like my interview went on for one and a half hour. You mean to say it went for ninety minutes? Yes, sir. Ninety-five minutes. Ninety-five minutes. Yes, sir. Like by the time I came out, it was like twelve seven, twelve ten. Oh, great. So I was standing at the board only. <laughs> Okay. So then I was explaining. Uh, I told about differential protection and restricted earth fault protection. He said, like the one more panel member cross questioned me, saying, "Why do I need both? It is not economical to put protect direct differential and re and restricted earth fault. Okay. So why do I need both?" Then I was then I was trying to justify him. They were cross questioning everything, sir. Like why current is flowing only in this direction? Why right, CT right, ratio right. has to be like this? Like why? Uh, like they asked me to take delta star transformer See, i was taking star they, delta ct their interest are... is never in the preliminary information whatever answer is coming first from your side that they know that this uh, will be the answer yes. but they want to know the hindsight story of yes, that sir, right? they wanted everything like whether i know what why it is the answer they were asking what right. the background of that whether right, i know right. what is the sign like what is the concept behind that Right. And one more thing is like they were very helpful. So they helped me a lot during the interview. Like they were giving hints, right, 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 and everything. So once this thing was over, I they moved to network, sir. Okay. In network, uh, they asked me to draw RC circuit and waveforms. Uh, okay. Like I should uh, really thank Chandrasekhar sir for this. <laughs> He Chandrasekhar Chandrasekhar sir helped me with this very lot, very like very much during the mock interviews and uh, uh, snaps. Sir, right, used to right. ask these sort of questions. Take the RC circuit, take a uh, ramp input or square input. What is the output waveform? It is going to come. So these things, like similar questions, they were asking. So initially, I was uh, okay. I was able to answer them pretty much. But later, when they went to RLC circuit and they wanted R like current waveform and uh, for different sources like trapezoidal source and all, like I could not answer them properly there. So okay. then they said, okay, we'll. Uh, they understood that I am not comfortable with this topic. So then the chairman. to cover he asked uh, this rlc circuit did you see this anywhere in power system like i like my i was fixed on network theory because uh, it was going on network theory then suddenly this switched to power system I was a little confused then i was thinking where did, where did rlc circuit come in power system <laughs> then i was then uh, i was thinking for a minute uh, then i recalled uh, it was receiving and c model of right, medium right, transmission right. line so i right. said okay sir uh, this is this uh, then he asked me to draw the phase diagram and everything And then, like normally, I do the phase diagram of RLC circuit, sir. So in this, what happened was VC, the length of VC was smaller than VS, uh, which I have drawn. Okay. So he started asking in medium transmission line what happens. Like they were asking about Faraday effect, but I couldn't uh, get it in the first like. Right, 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 right. Then I got it. Okay, they were asking the uh, uh, chairman wanted me to draw the Faraday effect phase diagram. Right, right. But right. I do the normal one. Like I said, sir, if XL is greater than XC condition, then this would be the graph. So then I drew the Faraday effect. He said, "Like okay, now you are drawing the correct one like this." Okay. okay. So, so then, this was your interview, right? Sir, this was your interview. It was my 
This was entire your interview, right? Yes, sir. No, sir. Power electronics was there after this. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead, please. Ah, uh, so then after power, then they shifted to power electronics after this. Then power electronics they have to put complete SCR, SCR up working the characteristic switching characteristic curve, operating characteristic curve, then protection, ah, uh, then. Triggering computation circuits, triggering circuits. Then in computation circuit, after explaining your thing, he said, uh, "Explain any one computation circuit." I said, okay. "I explain the voltage computation." Then I drew the diagram and I was explaining, like I didn't complete it, sir. I I explained it, but there were cross cross questioning. When I was answering them, the chairman said, "Okay, you can leave in middle itself." I was like, "Okay, sir, thank you." I just ended. So when I went okay. out, I found that it was like one hour thirty five minutes already. Oh, great. So finally, when your interview was, uh, you know, uh, at the end, or you know, it was about to sum up. So, did they put any remark, or they simply said you to leave the meeting? No, sir. They didn't uh, put any remark. The chairman directly said, uh, "Okay, your interview is over. You can leave." So, as a candidate, you know, basically after coming out from the interview room, how do you evaluate yourself? Were you happy with your performance or what? Yes, sir. Like uh, I just came out. I was feeling like, okay, whatever I did was like the. Best I could do at that point of time. Right, right, right. So and this I is the or this is the only thing each one should do, right? See, you yes, can't sir. be judgmental. You cannot say that you will be selected or not. You are not the decider, right? Yes, sir. The yes, only sir. thing you can do, you can do, and you can decide, and you can you know take a like a commitment that what else time you are investing here, and what else time you are getting there, thirty minute, forty minute, sixty minute. You must give your best in that duration. If yes, sir. you are successful in doing this, then definitely the coin will toss in your favor always, right? Yes, sir. That's what I feel now, sir. Right now. Right, right. Give, give, so, give, because give. after coming out, I was thinking like, okay, whatever I was able to do, I I did everything. So I was like, I will. I was really happy, sir. After coming out, like it was the very good discussion. Like it was not like an interview, sir. It was like we are having a discussion. Like I was answering, saying something. Like obviously, yeah. It ninety hours. Ninety minute is not a question answer session, right? Yes, sir. It can yes, go sir. to ninety minute only when you know they. believe that you have got some knowledge and they want to grill you more they want to check you more that you know what uh, what kind of a response you gave when they put you some under some instantaneous conditions right usually what yes, the, if they ask direct question then we are in the position to answer them right yes but sir. if they have decided that we want to go ahead with this candidate then they try to grill some time you know some extraordinary way also right the same thing happened with you right okay. yes sir So, Mr. Dilly Krishna, now finally, you know, many students are uh, aspiring to become the part of these, and next coming year, this opportunity will come again. So, what yes. will be your suggestion for them? How to prepare for interview? Because once you were student, now you have experienced the same interview, and you have your own experiences. So, yes. what is your experience, and what you would like to suggest them? Sir, uh, like the way I prepared for this was like I started with. Uh, Collecting the previous year questions, sir, like from right. Quora and other sources, so I was able to go through them and I was uh, what to say. I had an idea like what the depth of the questions they are asking. Like right. most right. of the questions were only conceptual. So I started like uh, like I joined your PDA, sir, initially. Then I was speaking with Rajiv sir, Chandrasekhar sir, and yourself also, Kaila right. sir. Right. right, sir. So during our interactions. Uh, Like people, like you three were guide. Like I took snaps only with you three, so you were right. guiding me like to go with this concept, like to go through the textbooks, like P S Bimran, start right. like uh, to get the concept strong. And during our um, like during the I gave two mock interviews also. Like you were there, right? So uh, thanks to your guidance, sir. Like you guided me a lot in that. Like right. like how what type of questions will be asked and how to prepare, like in what angle we should be preparing, how we should right. be looking at the uh, various type of questions. Right, right, right. So I think, sir, uh, I think we should one should uh, help go with the standard test books. It will be very helpful and very giving cool. marks and snaps. So it was snaps was very important thing for me. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't think it would have been possible with. Uh, yes, yes. See, basically, they prepared you for that final situation, yes, right? Sir. So yes, you sir. got Definitely. that habit. Okay, this kind of culture will be there. This kind of environment will be there. You get easily custom to that environment, yes, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, Mr. Dilip Krishna, finally the success is in your hand. Now go and enjoy. Okay, we wish you all the best. This is just the beginning. Okay, we wish you yes, achieve sir. many more milestones in the coming journey. Right? Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, Dilip Krishna. Thank you, sir.